So hey guys, I'm uh, Tim McCamus. We're here at Lights Out 8 for the biggest small tire race in the world and we're just cruising around here uh, checking out all the vendors. Ran across this guy uh, standing here in the Mickey Thompson trailer. This is uh, Joe Opalski and he, uh, he owns uh, Hyperactive Performance Solutions. He does everything to do with performance tuning on any type of race car. So we were just bullshitting around about stuff he's been into currently. And so his newest project is a, um, a dyno system, and it's basically like a hub dyno. So uh, you, you guys have all seen engine dynos, you've seen the wheel dynos, you see videos on YouTube all the time, guys running their junk on the wheel dynos, and you know, but these jacked up numbers. Well, you can't really do a high horsepower car on them, you know, so they've got their limits. And so a hub dyno basically takes the rear wheel and tire off of the car and bolts on a, a, a a rotor hub type system that goes into the electromechanical part of the dyno and what that's going to do is allow you to control that car in, a, in an environment that is not on the racetrack and it can run up to um, the limits on this thing are 5,000 horsepower and 13,000 foot-pounds of torque so I know all you guys got big power but you ain't got shit like that okay so whatever you have fooled yourself into thinking you don't have 5,000 horsepower even if you did this guy could monitor it for you. So this is especially important if you're having problems, um, this would be really a, a, a nice feature because you know, you have a problem with the car, it's missing, it's cutting out, it's not running right, the lockup's not working, some bullshit, these things always got problems. I'm gonna let Joe explain a little bit about this, but um, it's a really nice system that would, um, would, would take the, the tuning aspect and the problem finding aspect to a whole new level. So, Joe, why don't you give us a little bit of heads up about what this unit is? Yeah, so it's a, a mainline dyno log dyno uh, called a Pro Hub Dyno based out of Australia. Uh, like Tim said, basically you take the wheels and tires off, put hubs on it, bolt it to the machine. Uh, so far, we've had two cars on it. One of them made about 3,100. Um, no issues, you're able to diagnose, you're able to find problems. You're not worried about if it's gonna rain out that day. You're not worried if the track is gonna be good enough. So being able to take a brand new car and get it ready to go down the racetrack quicker, being able to take a problem child, like you say, the lockup doesn't work. Um, I haven't done it with big, big power yet, but you're able to shift the car. Um, so you're able to basically go through low gear, shift it, look at torque converter information. Uh, it interfaces with most of the EFI, if not all the EFI systems, race pack data systems. So you can take all that information, put it on the screen for diagnostics, for tuning, for horsepower. And it's pretty badass. That's, that's awesome. So it uh, really has no limit on to what power out I have. I can do a turbo car, a blown car, a nitrous car, whatever I've got, I, you can yeah. bring in there and hook it up and, and, and we can run that thing. And so if I, um, this is very interesting to me because uh, obviously diagnostics and, and learning tuning with that when in a controlled environment, I mean, it's just, it's so much aggravation. And there's so many things that can go wrong at the last minute when you're trying to test at the track. Yeah. Travel, weather, track conditions, just so, so many things that can ruin a day. And then to reschedule that is just a nightmare. So so this is very nice. And your your shop is located not too far from Chicago, right? Yeah, about an hour north of Chicago. Yeah, so, so he's just kind of in the upper Midwest, so he's centrally located. So you can, um, you can call Joe and you can set up a time to bring your car there. You can talk to him on the phone. He'll tell you what's all involved. But so, so how this works is that you, you basically rent it by the half day or by the day. Yeah. So you can, um, obviously half a day would not be much time. I would think, you know, on a, on a cars like we're used to dealing with, a, a couple of days is going to be required to get some good information out of it. So if I were to um, say, hey, I, I need a couple of days on the, on the uh, dyno, what are we looking at spending? Uh, right now we're at a thousand a day um, for you to come in with your tuner, with your whatever you want to do, that's fine. Basically take control of the dyno, use it as the tool. Um, if we're doing, if I'm doing the tuning, which obviously I can do all the major EFI systems and everything, we're at 1500 per day. Okay. Uh, if we were to do a half a day, it's 600 for the machine. Basically, it would be four hours. So right. Whether that happens from noon to four, whatever, it's, you know, that's the half a day. If we go over the four, we just call it a day. And, you know, I want to do it like that because 
we're not stressed, right? If you're trying to do development or you're trying to diagnose, I don't want anybody to be rushed because it's not the point of the machine. Right. So it's, I think it's going to be pretty good. So that's, uh, to me, that that is really a, like a no-brainer. So if I, if I say, um, all right, I want to come in uh, for three days, I'm going to bring my tuner, but I want you to help tune also. So we're looking at 1500 days. We're going to spend 4500 bucks. Yeah. All right. If I go to test at the track somewhere, if I'm if I'm going to look at three days of testing, flying crew in, truck and trailer, getting all this shit across the country to a track that that's going to be prepped right, I'm going to have to pay the track. We got to have an ambulance. We got to have track prep. We got to have glue. We got to have all this stuff. I mean, it's it's easily a ten thousand dollar spend for a test session on a on a car that requires a three or four man crew. I mean, there's no doubt. And then you've got on top of that, you've got tires. You're wearing out tires. Um, you, you, the, the expenses just keep going on and on. So this is very nice because one of the things that's great is, is um, it doesn't any time of year you could do it whenever you know. So now you've always got to kind of wait. Okay, well, what's the weather in South Georgia? What's the weather in Florida? What you know? So this is really interesting because um, it takes all those factors out. It does, and it you know what a lot like you say you know you you wind up driving halfway across the country go to do a test session and it's raining in the middle of the day well all you're trying to do is whether you're trying to find power do power development stuff whether you're trying to diagnose a problem or something from previous deals it just allows you to proof all that stuff before you go to the racetrack yeah so that way when you roll it out of the trailer it, i mean there's chassis there's shocks there's all that stuff that you know we can't do that in a fixed environment but it takes half of the variable out of it and right. just gets everybody up to speed and I think it'll be good. I think awesome. it's going to help raise the bar. That is awesome. <laughs> that That is really good. And that this is something new. I just learned about this in the last hour. So this is really cool. Um, Joe is well respected out here. He's an excellent tuner. He knows these cars inside and out. So I would have no problem turning any car that we build over to him and letting him do the tune work on it. Um, but you can, so if these guys want to contact you, it's uh, hyperactive. Uh, ps.com yep. so you, we're gonna put the link up uh, on this video so you guys can click on it but you can you can look at his website call him up and talk to him and uh, schedule some time for this uh, it's I guarantee you this is gonna be a very nice option for um, the the future of tuning these cars so far right now we're out thanks for watching we'll see you guys later